Would the blast wave separate LEGO plates? In today's video I attempt to answer this question. Let's start! Stepping on the LEGO piece is not the only pain that a well-known constructor can cause. There is also this. Everyone has been shown this picture, would feel phantom pain, because how many nails, fingers, teeth had been broken to separate this hell connection? It's all about the connection mechanism of two pieces. Most LEGO pieces consist of two main components, it's pins on top and tubes inside. The pins are a bit more than the space between tubes and walls. When you connect bricks each other, the pins push in their wall and tubes. The material LEGO is elastic and tries to save its original shape, so the walls and tubes are pushed to pins, the friction also plays a role, preventing move of both pieces. Usually LEGO pieces are separated easy enough. To do this we should turn clockwise one of the bricks and another turn counterclockwise to separate the blocking connections. The hardest is plates. When we try to separate them, facing to little torque problem, because the plate height three times as less as the tender piece, and it means that the level force three times less. But Lego company had tried this problem, having released the instrument which is named separator, increasing leverage and alleviating the work with pieces. But its magic doesn't work with the connection together to similar plates. Much variance of separating these pieces can be found on the internet, but I decided decided to check the most interesting. I'll make the explosion on the junction of two pieces. To do this I prepare several test subjects. Different power pyrotechnics will be used as a detonator. For the experiment I made a little polygon for my safety, because with pyrotechnics we must be very neat. If safety precautions are not followed, this can cause serious injury. So I highly don't recommend to repeat having seen. Ok, let's start first test, taking a little firecracker. For one by one place is no such explosion. For next test subjects such a load is also indifferent. So let's increase the explosion powerful. The firecracker is fixed by me with the help of electrical tape on the port junction to get the maximum effect. Such as firecracker couldn't have separated two plates 4 by 2. For 2 by 3 plates this explosion didn't cause any consequence. Well, I'll try a plate more. This time I could get a little gap. It gave me hope and I decided to finish these pieces fixing the firecracker on another side. But they didn't separate before end anyway, so I simply separated them with hands. After this I decided to add still the power. On this time to be in room with this was already scary. But LEGO pieces don't care, because there is no even a little gap between them. I think it's due to this firecracker gives strong scattered explosion and few from this affect the joint. For effective separate we need to have the concentrate power. These babies will help me to do this. Ok, let's test. I see the first part, but don't see the second. Oh, and here is the second. Everything worked out, but for full confidence we should test it still several times. And again, everything is done. In slow motion we can even see how two pieces fall apart. Well, we can say that the method is working, but having shown the next test, doubts arise in its efficiency. After the explosion, the elements not only separate from each other, but also on their own. In addition, trying this way to separate not big details can meet with the searching pieces problem. They are thrown away around by blast wave. After this explosion I could find only one plate from 4. 
As a result, LEGO pieces can be separated with the help of explosion, but it's not effective in safety. Accelerating explosion elements can cause injury, not to mention the explosion itself. So better to learn to use a separator, or a simple come to term with the fact that these pieces will be together forever. Clean up after you LEGO, look under your feet and don't connect one size plates together. Thank you for attention, goodbye.